In our quest for understanding, we encounter numerous creation narratives, from the scientific marvel of the Big Bang to divine proclamations of existence. These stories, whether grounded in faith or science, invite us to ponder the origins of life and the universe. Yet the fervor to champion one belief over another has historically fueled debates and even conflicts, suggesting that our fascination with origins might be less about truth and more about asserting dominance, a battle for the mind's control. But is the true nature of creation something we can definitively grasp? I propose a different approach to contemplating creation, one that transcends the need for concrete answers. When I close my eyes and ask, what do I see? My initial response might be darkness. This darkness, however, prompted reflections on racial dichotomies, black versus white, a divisive narrative that has long sought to exert control rather than enlighten. Seeking to break free from this cycle, I reframed darkness as nothingness. In this state of absence, my eyes are not yet eyes, and seeing transcends the physical. This concept of nothingness, ripe with potential, mirrors the essence of creation itself. It is not merely a void, but a fertile ground for transformation, an idea poised for realization, a being on the brink of becoming. This transformation process is a testament to our mental wealth, the inner reservoir of strength, creativity, and resilience that empowers us to envision and forge new realities from the fabric of nothingness. In recognizing the world's tendency to categorize experiences as black or white, right or wrong, we overlook the vast spectrum of possibilities that lie within the realm of nothingness. It is here, in this space, that a mere spark of sensation can ignite creation driven not by visibility, but by feeling. This emergent light then is not a tool for seeing, but a manifestation of our innermost sensations, lending substance to our creations. Tapping into this creative essence nurtures our mental wealth, enriching our ability to navigate life's complexities with insight and innovation. The accuracy of this perspective is not my primary concern. Rather, its utility lies in its application. Through meditation or prayer, by closing my eyes and inquiring, what do I see? I tap into the primordial essence of creation. The emotions this question evokes serve as the foundation for envisioning new possibilities, solving present challenges, and realizing dreams. This practice enables me to align my existence with my aspirations, fostering synchronicities that reflect my chosen path and desires. In essence, it's a cultivation of mental wealth, a deliberate practice of harnessing our internal resources to create a life that resonates with our deepest values and visions. In essence, creation is not merely an event to be understood, but a process to be experienced. By embracing the nothingness within, we unlock the potential to craft our reality transcending the confines of conventional narratives to discover our true capacity for creation. This is Sean Speaks, and remember, brain health is mental wealth.